We are Carrie and Josh. We are sharing things that, in our experience, work for us and could also work for you. All right, so here's the math update for the week for training. Uh, pretty short one this week because just plodding along, keeping up with the process. Um, boy, I love fall weather. The, the cooler weather has rolled in, not freezing cold, except for the early morning runs, the earlier morning runs instead of the after school runs. Um, all paces probably at or maybe a little bit below what they were last week, so uh, always nice to get a little bit of a drop in, in my paces. Um, my Saturday long run, right at about the 8 minute pace which is really good uh, I'll always take that for the for the longer runs and uh, so we will uh, have a break from math training for this next week which stay tuned for next week's video to see why there was a week break from the math training well hello fall long sleeves are out it's time for a Saturday seven and a half back down on the trail way better than running in the city on the loops just something flat and fun but uh whew, it's brisk well let's go for that uh seven and a half all right back to the start nice rolling along a little brisk at the beginning into the wind but you know once you get rolling and you get warmed up it feels pretty good uh not a lot of hardy Waconians out this morning. Usually you see a bunch of people out on the trail. I saw one runner and two bikers, I think, in the whole seven and a half miles. I think now they're gonna start to come out more because it's a little better, but you know, we'll uh, check here our pace. Hey, that's not too bad. Seven and a half miles, an hour of running, eight minutes and one second pace. I'll take it. I love fall weather. There are the lovely kind of sardines, chock full of good healthy fats. They will go into a bowl with some nice sauteed vegetables, a little avocado oil, and then we have some cabbage and cauliflower and zucchini, and we'll add a tomato. I like to throw in a couple scrambled eggs with it. And then, yum. And there is the final breakfast bowl. I put on a little sauce, sometimes some veggie sriracha, so sriracha, sometimes barbecue sauce, and sometimes hummus. All three make for a delicious topping to the breakfast bowl. All right, so my workout highlight of the week are these strange things hanging from the ceiling in my garage. And they are truck tie downs. If you've ever seen something, it's a TRX suspension trainer. And we'll kind of get a wider shot of it here. Uh, you can buy a TRX suspension trainer for like $300, or maybe not quite that much, but a, a decent amount of money. You can buy truck tie downs for $10. I've got them anchored. They just have loop anchors. They're like a, a couple dollars at the hardware store. They're anchored into a beam in the garage. They hang down. Right now I've got a, a bar on there and I do some pull-ups. Um, I also will hang these, which are kids playground, like uh, swing set things you can find at Menards or Fleet Farm. Uh, I got these, I think, free at a garage sale. And so if you don't have this nice bar, which I actually had left over uh, a pull-down bar from my Bowflex, when I got rid of it, I kept the bar. Um, but I do pull-ups on it. With these with these rings, you could do pull-ups, but I also will put a ladder across from me and I will put my feet on that and I'll do hangs. Um, you can do all the TRX suspension trainer things instead of paying whatever, like $150 to, to $300 for it. Um, probably I'm more on the 150 side. I paid all of $10 and it works great 
for for so many different things. Uh, you can do flies, you can do dips, you can do so many different workouts. You can Google suspension trainer workouts and you've got everything there, all for $10 hanging from in the garage. And then what I do so I don't have them hanging down is I will take the bar off. I'll take this loop and I'll just loop it in and hook it up on top so that it hangs high and nobody walks into the uh, the, uh, the bands hanging down, which would be annoying. So I hang them up. So that's the workout highlight for the week. Something cheap you can do for yourself in your garage. Uh, make your garage gym work for you. This week's words, words of wisdom are going to sound a little hypocritical coming from someone who's posting on YouTube and other social media outlets with uh, the blog and the video. But, uh, but here goes. I uh, was listening to a podcast this week and I heard about, uh, I heard a saying called, think like a bumblebee, train like a racehorse. And I really thought it, it applies well to athletes, but it also applies to to non-athletes, especially in this age of social media. So we're going to start with the bumblebee. And so the, the reason you want to think like a bumblebee is NASA scientists thought they should research the bumblebees to see just how they were able to fly so well. And through all their research and all their trials and tests, they came to a conclusion that bumblebees should not be able to fly. They have fat bodies and little wings and shouldn't be able to fly. The only thing in nature is no one told the bumblebee this. So bumblebees have always believed they can fly and they go about their business. So believe you can do something. So think like a bumblebee. You need to believe you can do something instead of saying, I can't. You think of, I can. How can you do something? Okay, believe you can do it. Okay, and then there's the racehorse. Now a racehorse, like any other athlete, uh, they have training programs and training plans and they have fancy technology and in my research on this, I, they wear heart rate monitors and do all sorts of things that other top end athletes do. However, when a racehorse gets to the starting line, it doesn't look down the line and go, oh boy, look at that athlete, I'm in trouble. Oh, they, I saw on Facebook that they were doing this crazy, insane workout. They don't compare themselves to other people. They take their training program, they put their plan to work, they go about their business, they don't worry about what anyone else does because they can't control it. They can control themselves, they go and they do their stuff. So as an athlete on this side of things, I do compare myself. I look and I see on social media, what are other people doing and think I have to do that. The nice thing with this math program is I, there's only one way to do it by heart rate. I don't need to compare people doing monster workouts or silly intense workouts or anything like that. I just go about my business and trust the process. So that applies to athletes, but that also applies to others in this day and age where everyone is posting their best versions of themselves on, on social media. There's filters everywhere. So don't go out there and compare yourself to other people and feel like the grass is greener on the other side. Oh, look at that. They do less than I do. Woe is me. I'm not as good as they are. Have a goal. Have a plan, whether it be in athletics or not. Stick to it. And this week, think like a bumblebee. Train or work like a racehorse.